One very helpful tool in Excel is to be able to pull in data from different tabs and then use formulas and calculations on a summary page. And that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. You can see here on this page that we have a Little League Baseball team called the Yankees. On the left hand, we list all of the players. And on the right hand side, we want to show what their batting averages are. We could keep it all on one page, but depending on the type of statistics or data you're putting on it, uh, that could get a little bit cluttered and messy. Here's a way where we can pull in data from other tabs and simply display the results here on one page. So to pull in data from a third part or from a, another tab, all you have to do is select the cell that you want to put it on. As with all formulas, click the equal sign and then select the tab that you want to pull from. So this is for the David player. We're going to come down the David tab and select the number of hits and divide that by the number of at-bats. You can see here in the formula bar that it automatically has placed in the tab name, David, and uses an exclamation mark so that we know it's a tab. B2, which is hits, divided by David A2, which shows that you could actually pull in information from multiple tabs all into the same formula. But for this, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to pull it in from one. As soon as you're done, don't click anywhere, just hit enter. And then automatically it pulls it right into that cell. Uh, sometimes, depending on your default settings, it might pull in a, a a number if you're doing an average or percentage it might pull in something that has seven or eight decimal points uh, I have it so it uses baseball uh, best practices and just uses the three decimal points so it shows that David is hitting 402 now we want to do this for all of the players and instead of having to go into each one of these uh, tabs and do the same thing because that would get a little bit cumbersome uh, Excel makes it so that we can simply copy that all the way down and not even have to leave this page uh, we can't for before we can go and copy it though uh, there is one process we have to do uh, which is to select these cells because if we just copied this all the way down it would start doing B3 A3 uh, and go on all the way down the alphabet because it think uh, Excel automatically thinks that we're doing something sequential. But instead, we're going to highlight it, click F4, highlight A2, click the F4 or function 4 on the on the top of your keyboard, and hit Enter. You see, nothing has changed. But now, when you copy these values all the way down, it will keep the same formula here. It won't change the columns the way it would normally do. So we're going to click and drag. And you see that it's just duplicated this value all the way down. And now all we have to do is, is change what the tab name is. So this isn't for David. This is for Ike. So we're going to change Ike there and Ike there. And as you can see, it took the corresponding values in the Ike tab, 29 hits and 80 at-bats, and it created a average specifically for him. Then we'll go with Eric. He's hitting 529. Now Danny. He's hitting an even 500. Fred. And we could go take this all the way down. And you can see that Excel automatically is pulling in those data, that data from those other tabs, and it's placing it here on the spreadsheet. This is a great way to be able to summarize any of your information quickly and easily on one page.